everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a tutorial about how to make really awesome looking shoes that'll give you a professional look, but without using any complicated materials or any difficult techniques. They do take a little bit of time, but they look really awesome. They're worth the effort. Hopefully you've already watched my tutorial about boots. These ones are gonna be a little bit uh, more complicated to make, but will give you a better look. So the materials you need, you're gonna just have some paper, a pen, um, you're going to need to have some kind of clay that will form the base of the soles. I use Super Sculpey, but you can use anything that's oven bake or air dry. You need um, a fabric that will not fray to be the sole. I like faux leather and you also need some glue. I use both hot glue and um, also a tacky glue, but you can use one or the other. Also going to need some ribbons, some strings just to decorate it with. You might want to look and see what mine look like before you choose yours. Elastic is great for doing the tie and the little strings are great for decorating the outside of the sole. So start by drawing your pattern first of all. So you just lay your doll on the paper, draw underneath her foot and then you're going to draw the rest of the outside shape of the sole that you want. Um, it can be kind of rough, you're just going to use that as a guide. So once you cut off your Sculpey and you sort of shape it into roughly the shape that you want the sole to be. Uh, it doesn't matter how close it is because you're going to have some time to cut it down and that's what that pattern is for. So you lay it there, use your little knife once you've got the shape pretty close to what you want just to cut and shape the edges so they are quite smooth. So they're giving you like a really clean shape of what you want. And then you're going to use your hands and the doll's foot to just make it exactly the way you want it. So keep on shaping it. It doesn't take very long. It might sound daunting, but it's actually very simple. And again, use that doll's foot to just get the exact right form so that when you bake it, it'll be perfect. Going to do the second one exactly the same, but obviously I put them on the two different feet so that we can see that we're going to have two that obviously will, will be the two different sides of the doll's foot. As you can see, I've done all three of the dolls I've got today. These are dolls I received who didn't have shoes and I thought I would make them some shoes today. Um, so first of all, the Monster High shoes, you're gonna put them um, onto the foil, that's to bake them. Now, if you're using an air dry clay, you don't need to bake them, of course. But if you're using an oven baked clay, well, you need to put them on some foil. You need to follow the manufacturer's instructions and you need to get those baked in the oven. These ones need to be baked at between 120 and 130 degrees for about 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, it's pretty simple, does not take long, doesn't use anything complicated. Once they are baked, we're gonna make the inside sole. And you can see here, I'm drawing the pattern by laying that inside part of the shoe that will be against the doll's foot, against the paper, drawing around it, and then cutting it out. I'm using paper so I can make the two sides of the shoe exactly the same. So I make a pattern piece and then I cut it. You could just do it directly onto the fabric, but obviously it might not be um, as much the same. I'm then going to draw it onto that faux leather that I've got. You can use any fabric that is non-fray. You can use a frayable fabric too, but obviously it just needs a little bit more work. You need to be a bit more careful with it. So I like this because it's just really easy. Uh, and that's the whole idea of these tutorials. It's really easy. So cut around that shape once it is on the faux leather. Um, you just cut exactly on the line and then you're going to lay it onto the shoe just to make sure that it is exactly the right size. I often find that they're a tiny bit too big because obviously when you draw them, uh, the outline is you know just outside the shoe. So you lay it on there and then cut it a tiny bit smaller um, just after measuring it up because then it is going to be exactly the same. You don't want to have overlap if you can help it, um, but it doesn't matter too much. I've done them all now for all three. Um, and that's going to now give us the time to add on the straps, um, the outside part of the shoe. So I'm making uh, some with an elastic strap to get the right length. Um, what I've just done is wrapped it around the doll's ankle just twice, quite loosely, no, no stretch. And then I've cut it to that length. You're going to see how I put it onto the doll's foot uh, later. And that's how I get it the right length. I'm choosing the different fabrics that I think are going to suit each of the dolls. Uh, so matching, you know, their color and their, the style that I'm going for. And now I'm going to use some hot glue to put it all together. 
So putting the shoe sole onto the bottom of the doll's foot allows me to shape it around the doll's foot. Then with the hot glue, because that is super quick to set it, I can hold it exactly the way it is going to sit when the doll's wearing it and get it stuck to shape. Can do use a different glue for this, but it's obviously not, not quite as straightforward to get it done quickly. With the elastic, it's just going to hang loose um, and I'll put it at the point where I want it to wrap like um, around the doll's ankle, but it is just hanging loose and that's because of the way it's going to attach. Now I'm going to put glue all over the base of the sole and then just attach it to the platform piece, which goes on. So now you can see we actually got a piece that looks a bit like a shoe. And if I wrap from behind the doll's ankle um, backwards and then wrap it once at the front and slip it on, we get a perfect fit with the elastic. Um, take it, if you get it wrong the first time, don't worry, you can just keep practicing until you fit the shoe on correctly. Uh, exactly the same thing for the other shoe until we have two. Now for the rainbow high doll, I've just decided to use um, the ribbons. So we'll see a slightly different method. So again, I'm just gonna glue the strap on in exactly the same way, fitting it around the doll's foot, gluing it on with the hot glue and then snipping it off so that we get exactly the right fit um, and adjusting it into place on the doll's foot. Make sure we don't have too much, you know, lumps on the bottom because obviously we're going to attach the sole there. Ribbon is super easy. You just glue it at one single point across the shoe with the two straps lying across the sides and then we can glue uh, the platform sole around it. That is already ready to tie on um, once it is made. So you can tie ribbons in any way you want. I like a little crisscross design because it's like a ballet shoe. And then you can just put the ribbon at the top and you can see that that shoe essentially already looks finished now. Well, of course, we're going to decorate it a little bit. Um, and that's what we're moving on to now. So starting with the soles, sorry, it's a bit out of shot there, but I'm just putting some glue onto the base of the doll shoe, um, which allows me to then stick it really quickly onto the um, faux leather again. I've used the hot glue for that one so that it's really quick. And then I can cut around the outside so we get the right shape. I don't even need to make a pattern if we do it that way. I can just glue it directly on and I can do all all the shoes in the same way. Um, for the Tonadol shoe, I've just used um, brown elastic instead because that's going to match the color. And now I've chosen what I'm going to decorate the outside with. I do love using the strings for the outside as it's going to give it a really cool um, sort of boho look. I'm going to use brown string for the Tonna one that matches that brown color. And I'm just gluing it at the back there. I am using the tacky glue here, so it takes a little bit longer to dry. So just stick it on um, at the back that bit is going to be covered in a sec and then wait for it to dry. Once it's dry, we're going to wrap the outside. So again, you need the tacky glue for this. You don't want it to dry instantly. You want to get a little bit of time, but not too long. So put a bit of tacky glue all around the base part, leave enough for your hand to hold. And then we're just going to start wrapping from the bottom of the shoe up. You are stacking those cords so that they form a pattern with no gaps. Um, and they're going to wrap around the absolute whole shoe. The bottom part is the easiest because um, obviously, you know, it goes the whole way around. Once you get up to the next part, you're again going to put on some glue. And you keep going to keep wrapping and you do keep wrapping the whole way around because that's just a lot easier when you're doing it and we're going to neaten it up afterwards. So you will find that the uh, string is wrapping around the front. Do not worry about that. That is exactly fine. We're going to cut that part off afterwards. Um, with the straps, just go over them, but try to make sure you don't get, um, get them glued down because obviously that would be a problem. But just go over them. Um, that's going to give us a little space to cut afterwards. Uh, you do need to keep pushing and stacking them, holding them into place. The tacky glue dries quickly, but it doesn't dry instantly. So you need to keep, keep doing that. Once you get to the very top, uh, you need to cover that part as well. You may need to do it on a bit of an angle. It really doesn't matter how because we can glue down any um, little loose edges afterwards. So you just uh, wrap it the whole way until the entire thing is covered. We're going to do exactly the same thing for the Monster High shoe. You 
only real difference here is that the shoe is a little bit smaller, a little bit skinnier. So I've chosen a skinnier twine for this. And that does mean it's going to take me a little bit longer. Um, and I'm going to, you know, need to wrap it a bit more. But we're still going to do exactly the same thing. We just wrap um, and stack those cords as much as possible. We're going to go the whole way up. This one is quite tall. So again, we just keep wrapping it and pushing it into place. If you end up with them sort of angled here and there, again, it really doesn't matter. This is going to look really great no matter how you do it. So whether it is super neat or whether it's a little bit messy, whether, whether things don't go quite in line, really doesn't matter. And again, you can just um, practice and, and get this right. When we get to the top of this one, the angle is quite severe. So, uh, you know, I went right down to the bottom when I thought about it afterwards. I thought maybe I should have done that first, but actually, again, it really isn't going to affect the look um, very much. So you're just going to get a really sharp angle. Don't worry if it, you know, where you turn that final thread. The, just for something different, the rainbow high shoe, I'm going to paint the outside. It doesn't look quite as professional, but it is super quick and, um, you know, really simple way to do it. So I've just chosen blue paint to go with the theme. Um, it's a nice acrylic paint. I use model paints. They just dry really quickly and they're really thin. Paint at the outside, set it to dry. Now we're going to finish the ones with the string. And this um, takes a little while to snip off all the edges and really make sure that the the thing that's tricky is make sure you are not snipping any of the straps. Um, you'll see it, it really, it's a bit careful. You might want to snip down the middle and then trim the edge pieces. You want to cut them so that they are close to the edge of the shoe, but they don't over, you know, they don't surpass the edge of the shoe. So just snip, snip, snip um, until all of those little strings are off. It doesn't matter if the edges are rough because we're going to cover those, but we want them to just be sort of directly at the edge of the sole so that we can cover them really nicely. Um, that's how it will look at this point. We are still going to now put this string around the edge. This is a really thin string. So I'm going to put some glue just around the entire edge of the shoe. I'm going to start attaching um, this cover piece at the heel because that's going to be the most hidden part. And then I'm just going to follow the line of the shoe in that glue all the way around. Because the string is so fine to make sure I cover up all the loose edges, I'm just going to go around this one twice to give it a little bit of edging. And then when we get to the back of the heel, we're going to snip that off. If there is a loose edge, we just glue that down there because, again, the glue will already be starting to dry at this point. And obviously, we're going to do the second shoe exactly the same. The Tonner Antoinette shoe, the strings are thicker, which means they're a little bit easier to cut, doesn't take as long, but again, exactly the same thing. Just be careful not to snip the elastic, not to slip the strap um, and cut it right down to the edge. Because these are thicker, we might need a tiny bit more space to glue our string piece, which we're going to do in exactly the same way. The only difference if you're using a thicker string is that you're only going to go around the shoe once. So we glue it at the heel. Um, with that glue that's already lining the entire outside of the shoe, follow the shoe, keep it nice and neat, snip it at the heel, glue it back down. And that is going to look um, fantastic. This one is such a classic look for a wedge sandal, perfect to wear to a festival or concert. Now I've done all the shoes. We're just going to slip it on behind the foot um, backwards and then we flip it over at the front and the straps attach perfectly. Look at how awesome those wedge sandals look. Um, just beautiful. For the rainbow high, we've got the painted ones and I've just decorated them with a little uh, buckle at the front. I'm going to decorate the monster high shoe as well. Um, because I got that faux leather, I can put a little bit of glue. You can do anything you want at this point. I've just chosen some cute flowers because I think they just go with the theme. And there we go. Some gorgeous wedge sandals for our dolls that just look mint. Now, let me know if you make these and how you go with them. Leave a comment if there is a different kind of shoe or item that you'd love to see me make.